Welcome to Tech Reserve with Adam In this video, we are going to learn how to get distinct rows uh, for all columns uh, in data flow task in Azure Data Factory. So that's very important. Uh, often uh, we come to scenario where we need to load uh, data from uh, different sources uh, such as CSV file, Excel file, or maybe even a uh, uh, database systems such as Azure SQL DB or Oracle. Now, when there is many chances that uh, you will have uh, duplicate records. Um, in this uh, case, uh, we have total uh, sale uh, file and it has some duplicate records. Um, see right there, number 8 uh, ID and uh, 5 and 6. Uh, these are also available at the end. Uh, so there are uh, duplicate records. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to find a way how we can just get the distinct rows uh, out of this uh, CSV file and load to our SQL table. Uh, so I'm going to close this and then we are going to go ahead and uh, in the Azure Data Factory we are going to use the data flow to load this data, CSV data, and get the distinct records and finally load to the SQL table. Now, on the SQL side, what I have done here, uh, I have already created a table and I'm going to show you the definition of that. So, see right there, we have a total sale table in TechPress ITDB and we have the same column what we have in the file. So, these are exact same names. And there is an extra column I have added just for the file name that we can, if we are loading multiple files, uh, this is really helpful uh, when you are uh, aware of which data is coming from uh, which file. Uh, now let's go back to the Azure Data Factory and uh, we go here in the data flow, new data flow, and you can give some proper name. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to say distinct data flow. So now we go to the add source, add source here, and uh, here we will create a new data set. Uh, as we know that our file is uh, sitting uh, into the blob storage, uh, so we are going to select Azure Blob Storage, uh, click Next, select CSV file, and now we'll create a new linked service uh, that's going to be pointed uh, to our blob storage. Uh, here I selected my subscription and then my storage account. Uh, the name of that is Azure Blob Storage 12. Uh, it's a good idea to give some proper name. In my case, I'm going to leave this as it is. Uh, now we are going to navigate to the our input container and that's where our file is sitting. We'll hit OK. And now we know that our first row has header. So select that part. Leave the import schema to the click. So we would like to read that import, uh, get the schema from the file. Here in the source options, uh, you can go right there. If uh, you want to do the lead file or move file uh, after loading, uh, you can do that. Uh, here, uh, what I will do, I will add one more column to it. Uh, columns to the store file name. I'm going to call this one file name. So this will store our file name. Also go to projection and here you can see all those columns uh, which are available in our file. So once it's read the schema, it got to know that. Now sole data is not string, it's a date. So I'm going to change to date here and also change to the format month, month, day, day, yy. Otherwise it will load the null values for this column. Now this looks all fine, that what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to the sync. And uh, simply if you see there, I'm not uh, making any changes, so you would know, uh, now you will ask me, hey, <laughs> you are not uh, getting the distinct rows, uh, yes I'm not. First I'm just loading as it is uh, to show you the duplicate data, then we'll add uh, something here that will uh, remove that duplicates uh, and only get us the distinct records. Um, let's go to this so data set here and uh, select uh, Azure. SQL database and here click uh, new link service now you will go and uh, select your subscription and uh, select your server name then you will select your database name and then uh, finally you will select your uh, authentication method in my case is uh, uh, SQL authentication so I will provide my username and password here and then uh, we'll test our connection it's a little slow today, not sure why. So anyways, our linked service is created. Now, once the linked service is created, it is asking which table you would like to use from that database. I'm going to use a TB, uh, DBO data total sale. Leave everything as it is and hit OK. Now what we will do here, we will create a new pipeline. New pipeline and I will call that pipeline PL total sale. In this uh, uh, pipeline, we will bring that data flow. So distinct data flow that we just created here, I'm going to bring it here. So I'm going to drag this uh, DF, distinct uh, DF, right there. So data flow is here. Now we can go ahead and debug. 
our data flow is completed successfully now let's go ahead and take a look here and I'm going to go right here select the data so you can see there uh, this data with ID 5 6 uh, and 5 uh, sorry 8 5 and 6 uh, that's right there and also the same data is the uh, here so if you want to get just distinct records you can say it's distinct it will uh, tell you so now we'll say select distinct star from a uh, total sale and uh, as of now we are getting 14 records uh, if I will execute with distinct uh, we are getting 11 rows uh, so there are three records uh, which are being uh, duplicated uh, now what we can do here we are gonna go ahead and uh, we are going to make some changes uh, one of the uh, awesome thing I like about data factory is uh, uh, there is uh, something uh, you can uh, use some data flow script here that's available online um, now I will put this link in the description and uh, they have the code uh, that you can use uh, to create actually your distinct uh, um, uh, transformation uh. so it is not actually the distinct transformation it is aggregate transformation and uh, this uh, code will help you so if you will come all the way here so it says the distinct row using all columns uh. so let's say if I want to get the distinct values I can do that uh. so here it is using aggregate transformation and grouping by and uh, it is uh, grouping by all the columns uh. so it could use this uh, uh, encryption uh, sorry SHA2 function here and then uh, this is uh, the just the number how it is uh, uh, used in that uh, function and here it says columns um, so if you see this is not possible in the SSIS uh, because in SSIS uh, you have to put all those column ones column two column three and add them and then create those uh, things uh, but here we have a SHA2 function uh, that will help us uh, to create that um, now you copy that uh, and what's going to happen uh, once you you can paste this code in the data flow and it's going to create aggregate transformation um, you can also uh, exactly you don't have to do this uh, code you can uh, simply bring the aggregate uh, transformation and uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, write by yourself as well uh, but uh, this was easy so that's why I said okay I will do from here and also it will introduce you to different uh, uh, scripts available here so you can see check for nulls in all columns that can be used auto map uh, schema drift with the select so there are tons of other uh, available code that you can use so in our case we are using only distinct rows by using all columns now we go here and uh, what we are going to do see right there that's the name of my stream is the source one um, that's what it is and then I uh, sync is sync one uh, so I want to put uh, my uh, aggregate right there so anyways we are going to go to the script here and here uh, you will see uh, right there that's your sync and here see that's where your source um, so this is where your source is ending and then the next one is starting uh, so it has taken the data from the source one and uh, what we have to make some changes uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit a pay, uh, just enter here and then say source uh, so once I say source one that uh, I'm gonna paste my code here so that's the code I just pasted now source one become uh, the input for uh, this entire thing uh, now as uh, my sync uh, is uh, was uh, attached to sync source one uh, now I have to connect with the distinct rows uh, so I can change that as well so I can change there and uh, then I should be all good um, hit OK and uh, let's see what happened uh, so see it uh, just uh, put the uh, aggregate uh, transformation right there and uh, we are all good uh, let's double click on the aggregate transformation and take a look what happened now uh, it uh, used that function and uh, concatenate or uh, just use all those columns coming from the input uh, that's our source one so tomorrow if uh, you have less columns or more columns it's not going to take uh, uh, worry about that it's gonna just use all the columns or whatever input is going to provide uh, so it uh, supports uh, your uh, column drift uh, now it is uh, creating a new column called the my column uh, and it is aggregating uh, so if you see right there uh, you have this um, by the first uh, so it's gonna take only the first value so if you have a duplicates it's gonna just ignore that uh, you can write this all expression and everything by yourself not a big deal so you know how to uh, see that uh, once you have that uh, you can just uh, um, write it as I said uh, so no, no, nothing to worry about it now here uh, I leave everything as it is we don't have to worry and uh, we should be good now once uh, this will run uh, it's gonna read the duplicate data from CSV file then uh, it's gonna just uh, use uh, this uh, function here and only get us the, the distinct values and then write to the sync uh, as the sync already have some data what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a truncate table on the sync so it will uh, I'm asking uh, delete everything from sync and uh, then load the data 
So let me double check here after click then and now we go back to the our pipeline and let's uh, execute again. In my case, uh, I went all the way first of source and then sync uh, and then I implemented this part of it. Uh, you don't have to do it. You can always start with the source and then uh, use uh, this uh, script there, put it right there at the end uh, of that uh, code and then uh, use the sync later. So it's your choice, but uh, I just showed you how it uh, work. Uh, so if you go to source here, in case uh, I, if I would not have uh, uh, the destination, I will not have this part at all. So in my case, it will be just uh, this uh, part will be there till source and then you will just paste this code that we copied from the internet. Uh, and uh, then uh, you can connect your uh, sync later. So let's see if the pipeline has been completed successfully. It is uh, completed successfully. Now we go back to the Azure SQL database uh, and run a query. Now you can see that uh, I have only 11 records uh, and uh, they should be distinct. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run a distinct uh, one more time. And so you will see right now I have 11 records. If I rerun this query, I should get 11 records again uh, because they are distinct. Uh, so this is how you will use uh, the script uh, to just get the distinct records uh, from your source uh, and load to the some destination. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel. And I will go ahead and put uh, a CSV file as well as the table definition and uh, the link for the code I use from the internet um, in description. So you can uh, experiment. Thank you.